All right, hey Virgo. So I'm doing a singles read for you guys. If you're new, welcome to the channel. You guys subscribe if you feel inclined and you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and your situation. So if that doesn't resonate, you guys um, check your other placements, okay? This is a 60 day intention reading. So two months from today. And I think that's about it. So let's see what your energy is for Virgo. You are coming out with judgment. All right, the angel of the past. Um, and I feel like this is coming out under representation of you because some of you guys could be um, closing out karmic cycles um, and it's not even that you've just recently closed a karmic or a toxic relationship out what I feel is you're, you're I feel like this is healing from the past okay um, it's like you're 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 kind of wrapping up any uh, um, forgiveness any releasing um, you're just I feel like whoever I'm talking to you're finally coming into this um, energetic zone of being okay with how everything's been done what's been done to you and just now it's like all about moving forward um, I feel like whoever I'm talking to you could be feeling um, internally that you've actually um, um, uh, for some reason for whoever I'm talking to you know how to um, draw in good karma and you know what balancing karma is and I feel like for those of you who are resonating with that, I just feel like you've cl you've cleared up, and I feel like it's by healing, releasing, forgiving. Um, I I feel like that's it's like you you be, you've accepted everything, and now it's time to move forward. It's your turn, and I feel like you, for whoever I'm talking to, I feel like you're in a super high vibrational state of mind right now, where it's like you know how the law of attraction works, you know how manifestation works, you know how karma works. All right, thoughts the power of thoughts. So let's see what your situation is. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys have been with me, you know what I reference this card as, right? And, um, you know, for me, this is karma right here. This is karma. Like, look at you have you are being rewarded, um, Virgo, greatly um, for what you've dealt with in the past, how you've dealt with it and how you've decided to close it out. All right. Your energy, your situation. This is your new lease. Um, you've had something come over you that's truly been inspiring, like if you're learning about karma, if you're learning about um, how to release and you're learning about how the, the, the whole karma and balance works, um, I feel like you're just you're soaking it up like a sponge, like you you don't want to quit learning about it. Um, and it's not just one thing, it's everything. I just feel like you, whoever I'm talking to, you've you've tremendously wrapped up um, what it means to take care of karma from the past. So let's see who's coming towards you. wow look at this you guys the angel of happiness you got the sun card coming towards you so this is somebody who's going to be an energetic match um this person they don't hold on to regret remorse um um ill like people who have treated them um it's like this this is going to be an alignment person for you all right, I'm just like, I'm stunned right now because um, this person right here, you're gonna connect with them on so many levels. And um, this is this is gonna be one for the books for you, Virgo. I'm just gonna tell you that. Um, this person is somebody that's coming towards you. So I feel with the sun card coming out, you essentially will not have to tell them the path that you're on. You guys are just going to click like that, right? So if you've forgiven any exes of the past, this person already knows, they've already done it. So this is going to be like an alignment that comes to you where, you know, it's hard to meet people who are on this journey, who align with you. This one's coming to you. So let's see what this person, what are they like? Wow. 
Wow. I mean, you can't look at this is going to be past life. All right, the six of cups. This is for me. This is representation of past life. And I don't mean like past life, this life. I mean, past life before you were born. This was your last life. Okay, I feel like this person's coming back. And with this whole karma thing that I was talking about, it's almost like you've released um, karma from your past life as well. And that's why this person's getting drawn to you. Okay, um, this person, here's what I'm going to say. All right, they've already, they've already experienced all this. Now I feel like they have to um, do. I I feel like this is more of an energy protection, where they don't actually let a lot of people in. Um, I feel with the three of swords. All right, this person has experienced a lot of heartache, a lot of past pains. Um, I'm almost getting this feeling for some of you. You could actually be dealing with somebody who's had um, like a physical um, something physical within their heart space. Um, and I don't, that's just going to be a side note, like they could have had a surgery on their heart or heart surgery. Um, but this person truly, they, they know what life is all about. They, they've been through so much and this is how they're coming out. Like, I almost feel like this person right here, it's like, they know, um, they know law of attraction. They know manifestation. It's like if they had um, heart surgery or, um, it's like it's like cancer like if you have an ailment you guys know that um the high the higher your vibration is um you you can physically um heal yourself and i almost feel like this person has like like healed themselves um through laughter um through raising their vibrations like that laughter is like it is it might sound crazy but it is one of the um, best forms of medication Laughter is the be the best medicine. Um, it it's a healing factor, and I feel like that's who this person is. Um, they've been through a lot of struggles, but they 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 know how to turn their own life around. You're not gonna they're not gonna need help with that. What is this person's situation? So there's situation. Here's what I feel. Um, with the two of swords coming out, I almost feel like this is just saying that this person's actually not looking. So they're not going out of their way. Um, on a side note, I feel like you're not going to meet this person online or through a mutual hookup. I feel like this is somebody who's not actually looking for anything, but it's not that they're closed off to it. Okay. Um, I feel like this person's just simply not looking. All right. And with the world card coming out, I feel like this is just how this person is viewing their life, like the world in the palm of their hands. I just, that's what I'm getting from this person's energy. I mean, look at it. We got the King of Wands coming out in their situation. All right. And this is somebody who has a lot of eyes on them. This is a good looking person. This is somebody who's fun and, and happy and energetic. And um, like nothing's going to stop them. Um, nothing is going to stop this person um, with the two of swords. I just simply feel like this person's not looking for anything, but it's not that they're going to deny anything that they feel um, a connection with. Okay. Um, I feel like I feel like this person's just got everything going for them. Everything, like everything going for them. Like I, I can't even express it. So let's see what this person's initials are coming towards Virgo. This is going to be their initials. I'm only going to pull five. Well, maybe six because. Wow. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to keep them because this is something. Somebody needs to hear this. All right. We have MK. And we have MK. So that could be significant for somebody. The fact that, it, that it's coming out twice. And we have GF. All right. So let's just see what the mutual energy is going to be between you guys. Mutual energy. Wow. Okay. So real quick, we have religious factors at the bottom of the deck. And I just seen this flash. I feel like this is the spiritual alignment that I was talking about earlier. 
all right with the retreat card coming out i just feel like this is you and this person taking time away yeah disconnecting from the world going within learning everything that you can about each other um i feel like that's a very positive um card it's like just me and you and it's um not even that it's against the world it's like let's get away let's run away i want to know everything about you let's go look at the stars somewhere mutual energy mutual energy look at this we have the eight of cups all right and i feel like that's um, a representation of you guys having to walk away from a lot of things in the past a lot of shitty connections and situations that didn't serve i feel like you guys have both been through a lot um but um it's the ten of wands yeah it's about carrying burdens but i also feel like this is um determination this is never giving up um, because you know why we're here all right we're not here to be lonely all right we have the ace of swords and the high priestess cards coming out so new beginnings and i feel like this is a new new i feel like for whoever i'm talking to and it doesn't matter if you're male or female um i feel like there's just been a, a rejuvenation of the divine feminine um perception all right within you and how you view the feminine and with the ace of swords this is just a victory coming out mutual energy it's a success so let's see what the mutual attraction is. All right, so for this one, we're just looking at the images on the cards um, to grasp. All right, look at it. This is very loving. All right. I just feel like this is how you guys are going to be. Um, yes, taking it slow, but where's what's time? You know what I mean? Time is nothing. You have the two of wands and the three of cups. This is co-creation right here. And this is unity. This is happiness. All right. So there's a lot of love. There's a lot of attraction and passion that's going to happen with this connection. So let's see how this is going to unfold for those of you who have not met this person yet. So for whoever I'm talking to, um, here's what I'm going to say. All right. Now, I feel like I am talking to spiritually aligned Virgo energies. All right. But you guys, you can't keep your heart protected. Okay. So you're going to have to come out of that energy. This is a 60 day read. So for any of you who are, who feel like they have to and must protect their energy, um, at least keep your heart space open, okay? Because um, these two cards right here are about guarding and protecting, and it's okay to safeguard your energy, but make sure your heart's open to receiving this love, all right? We have the Queen of Pentacles, and it's like the universe is already saying, we know you got this, okay? But it also helps um, when you have a teammate, and that's what they're going to be sending to you. So be open and receptive to that. And I feel like you're just overall going to be in this energy where it's like, it's okay. It's okay to let people in because not everybody's the same. And you know that by repairing that karma from the past. So let's see what your outcome and your, your advice is. Yeah, I, so here's what I'm going to say. Some of you that, and I do feel like we're, we're, we're phasing out this, the negative karma. Um, I got to tell you, um, just on the next, between now and the next 60 days, continue to work on that releasing. Okay. And just please know that not every, you guys might have somebody in your energy that's trying to get your attention. And with the seven of swords, I have a feeling some of you might think it's a negative thing, but you really need to look into it with this card coming out. Okay. Um, because what I feel the universe is saying is, um, some of you could be staring this wish right in the face and you're not even realizing it. The nine of pentacles, this it's a wish fulfillment card. Yeah. But this is also about having something right in front of you and not even seeing it. So, um, I feel like the universe is saying you guys might want to pay attention, um, to your surroundings and the people around you. All right. And then when you kind of um, realize what's going on, I feel like everything's just going to move really fast for you. OK, so Knight of Swords is fast movement. It's success. It's also it can be pretty hasty, too. 
the message for Virgo. All right. We have patience coming out. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Okay. So for those of you who don't really see anything going on in front of them, for those of you um, who kind of wonder if love is out there for you. All right. Virgo, I hope you guys will comment and let me know who this is resonating with. I love you guys. I look forward to hearing your feedback.